know, if anybody's ever met any of our students on the court or on the field, you know that they're fierce. Two University of the Southwest students recovering tonight after a crash in Texas killed nine people. And we are learning new details about that fiery crash. And that includes who was behind the wheel of the truck that hit them. Anchor Kayla Norwood is here with the latest. Shelly Doug, we're told a 13 year old boy was driving the pickup truck that hit that van. The van was carrying members of the University of the Southwest golf team. In a press conference this afternoon, the National Transportation Safety Board also said it appears the left front tire on the truck was a spare tire and it blew out. That led the truck to pull hard to the left and cross into the opposing lane. It hit the van carrying the coach and 18 members and some weren't wearing seatbelts. We can say with some degree of certainty that quite a number of the uh, bus passengers were not wearing seat belts. Uh, we also know at least one of the bus passengers was ejected from the vehicle. He says the posted speed limit was 75 miles per hour, and right now they believe the vehicles were traveling about that speed on the Texas highway. The coach and six team members died, as well as the 13 year old and the 38 year old passenger in the truck. Now, two members of the golf team were taken to Lubbock area hospitals in critical condition. The NTSB says the preliminary report on the crash will be out in about two to three weeks. Shelly Doug, back to you. And for the first time today, we are hearing from the University of the Southwest. Nancy Laughlin is in Hop to show us what administrators are saying. Today, university leaders spoke to the media and to the public, and they said in this college, they are family, and this family is hurting. Dr. Ryan Tipton said many of the students will be returning from spring break. He said this is a small Christian college, and their faith is helping people here cope with this tragedy. Six students and the university's golf coach were killed in a car crash returning from a golf tournament in Texas. Dr. Tipton said he has spoken personally to family members of every student involved. As an institution, we are a family here, uh, and our family extends to our students and our faculty, our staff, but also the families. Right now, other university leaders are at the hospital supporting the students who did survive. In Hobbs, I'm Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News.